What's going on, Kyle? What's up? It's been a we long week. A, it's been a long week, and we got a big weekend. Uh, golf this week is going to be not the best tournament for the uh, John Deere Classic. No, it is not. It's a horrible field. But, but UFC is going to be big. Uh, Huge. So I'm pumped about, about that. that. Oh, yeah. And our, uh, our little side bet last week, let me go over my team quick. For our uh, forty-three thousand dollar team challenge, uh, I think I I think I won the side bet, but didn't win any money. You did win the side bet. So I had pull my team. So on my team, Phil Mickelson yep. finished minus third or minus three. Uh, Cam Davis, who won. The Gim Reaper uh, finished tied for 32nd at minus 10. Uh, I had Hubbard, who missed the cut, and Rafa missed the cut. And uh, Vince Whaley finished minus 6. Total yeah. 395 yeah. points. That's I've done worse than that with uh, <laughs> $50,000 teams. So for uh, picking mostly 7K guys, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, I finished with 344. My best player was Kisner uh, and Joel Dahman. They both did pretty yeah. good. Uh, our yeah. bets for that week uh, were kind of interesting. Bryson did not hit an eagle. Uh, he fell the fuck apart without his caddy. Uh, we yep. covered that. Yeah, we did. Um, and that was just a mess. Uh, Kisner did top 40 easily. Yep. Um, and then what sucks is our last one we said Todd missed the cut. Um or Doc Redmond to miss the cut, and we ended up going with Todd. He made the cut. Redmond missed the cut. Of course. Then we also said the other top 40 we talked about was Sung J M, and he top 40 easy. So yeah. if you if you listened to us, you would have been profitable. You would have went three and two. If you just took what we took, you went like one and two. Yeah. 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 So we did all right. I hope you – Listen to us and make your own opinion off what we say because yes, <laughs> that's the this, way to do it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Um, so you want to start off, uh, or I guess I'll start off with the 10K and up because there's only a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, so starting off at 11.1, we got Danny Berger, which the, these pricings this week are absolutely insane. Well, uh, so John, there's no one in it. There, right. <laughs> there's no one right. play. Right. Yeah. Uh, Sung J M is at ten seven. Uh, Brian Harmon is at ten four. That's probably my favorite so far. Uh, Cam Davis is at ten one. Uh, Cam Davis is probably going to be an auto fade this week after the playoff win. Uh, what are your thoughts? So I love Berger. Yeah. Um, he traditionally plays well here, um, and he traditionally I saw this stat. He traditionally plays well before majors. Okay. So the week before, and he's just a good golfer. He's definitely the best golfer yeah. in the field. Um, yes. It's going to be interesting. Sungjae this week, did you see the news with Sungjae and Siwoo? With their, right. They're going to skip next week. They're going to skip not, next week? Yeah. And um, play this week. Yes, and they're going to focus on training for the Olympics because if they medal, they do not have to do mandatory military service. Oh. Any me- any medal, really? Yeah. That not mandatory military service <laughs> is looking pretty fucking good right about now. With, so, uh, yeah, China were, ramping up. They've already skipped next week. It's interesting to see like if they're even going to be concentrating this week. They might not. Right. Um, or this just, could just be like a pra- like low pressure practice round for them. Right. Um. I think I'm going to stay away from Sungjae just because of that. Right. Um, I, I agree. Fade Cam off that playoff win, that's going to take a lot out of him. Uh, so Berger and Harmon are the two plays, I think, up top. Yeah. Plus, uh, Cam Davis has probably been just crushing Fosters all week. <laughs> yeah. After uh, his playoff win. Yeah. Uh, next next uh, tier, the 9Ks. Uh, this is a good tier this week. Russell yeah. Henley. To start at 99, and it goes down to Seamus Power at 9,000, which is insane to see Seamus Power at 9,000. Yeah. Um, but what do you think about the 9Ks? Uh, like Henley, 
Streelman uh, did like Siwoo until about two minutes ago. <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe Alex Norman, but probably not. This week is freaking hard. It is. Um, I like, I'm with you, Russell Henley and Streelman. They seem almost too obvious. Yeah. Um, but Streelman especially, he kills this place, and he's been playing yeah. some good golf. He sucked at the Travelers, yeah. but who even cares? Right. Um, I'm staying away from Kevin Na. He's been playing like shit. Yep. Um, Got to stay away from him. And then someone I like that if you just look at his stats, um, I really like Aaron Wise. Um, he is a guy, no matter what kind of place he finishes in, he's a DraftKings scorer. Look yep. at the amount of birdies he's had. He had 20 birdies this past week. He had 60 in the week before that, 18 the week before that, 18 the week before that. Um, his rounds at the Travelers, he shot a 73 in round one, followed by a 65 in round two. Um, That's pretty wild. He's just a birdie machine. So he finished 66. I would, I'm not sure where he finished DraftKings pricing-wise, um, but I know – that it was way better than his 66th place. I'll, I'll even look it up really quick. Um, so top scorer on DraftKings last week was Cameron Davis with 132. Um, if we look at Aaron Wise. What, uh, uh, what are you using to look up this past data? Is it just on DraftKings? It is on DraftKings. Um, huh. hold on. He might not have. Where he might have played the week before, he skipped last week, so I'm not finding it. But I know he he finished way above 66th place, um, just with those 20 birdies. Right. Um. So Aaron Wise is someone I think DraftKings wise I like. Right. Who do you like in the eights? All right, so the eights start with uh, Patton Kazire at 8,900 and all the way down to, this is another uh, fairly short range, down to Johnny Vegas at 8K. Got to go with Vegas here. Uh, Got to go with Doc Redman. And I like Doug Gibbons as well. He played pretty well last week. Yeah, uh, this is another range. Um that I like, and I, similar to last week, how we did that challenge, I think you could do that same challenge this week. Maybe we should, double or I nothing. I think we definitely should. Um, but I love your Vegas take. He's fucking awesome. Uh, can go super low. Um, should play well. Hank Lebiota is just on fire. So fading him at this point is ridiculous, so. especially in this field. And then the tough thing is, what do you do with Zach Johnson and Lucas Glover, who – aren't necessarily playing the best. They're not playing terrible, but they kill this course every year. Yeah, this is a weak field for them, too. Yeah. So I, I kind of like them, but I don't typically like either of them. Right. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. And then sevens is big uh, range, as always. Kyle Stanley at 79, all the way down. You scroll all the way down to Kadira, 7,000. Any uh, buddy sticking out to you here? I am looking. Uh, if I had to pick a couple, uh, Varner's looking good at seventy-eight. Uh, Wierenski has been playing okay at seventy-six. Um, and I could make a case for Scotty Stallings yeah. and maybe Luke List as well. Scott Stallings was on my list. Uh, yeah. I think he, he should play well here. He's been playing some good golf. I like Kyle Stanley. He's just been having a great season in general. Yeah. Uh, Stanley's been playing really well. Pat Perez is always somebody I like in weaker fields especially, and majors for some reason. Um, and then Steve Stricker, kind of same as Zach Johnson. Uh, kills this course. Yeah. And old man Stricker has been playing really well uh, on the old man tour. He just won. Yep. Um, so I like Stricker. 
And then there's not much else I like in this range, really. Um, maybe Ryan Armour or Hadley, just because when they pop, they really pop. So maybe those two, but mm. that's really yep. it. Yep. We'll take us to the sixes. We'll take us to the sixes here. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Buckle up. Uh, we start off with Roger Sloan at uh, 6,900. And then we're going all the way down to... Hold on, this is a big one. Oh, boy. Arun Atwal <laughs> at 6K. My favorite. Yes. Oh, old, old Arun. Right. How could I have missed him? <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, kind of like Chase Seifert at 63. Uh, maybe Bo Van Pelt, but nobody's really. Uh, how about Sabatini's a good get at uh, 66. And then good old Bronson Burgoon. He's been playing so bad. I can't. I can't take him again. Um, the guys who stick out to me are two guys at the top: Benny On, my man. Yes. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't get a morning tea time. <laughs> God forbid. God Go on forbid. a tri- Twitter tirade. Uh, I do like Roger Sloan as well. Um, if we scroll down a little bit, Vincent Whaley is still there in the six eights. Um, and then my favorite play in the sixes is at 6,600, and that's J.J. Spawn. Uh, I think I'll be having a lot of him this week. Yeah. I do like your Seifert pick, though, at 63. That's, he went down in price in a weaker field, so there's a lot of um, guys Great. there. Yeah. Um, were you able to make any teams? I am one guy away from the, uh, the 43K. Right okay, now. So, so that's how much we we need to. Yeah, we're, allo- we're allowed to use. Yep. So w- what's the rules again? Seven thousand. That's it. Uh no. So it's you got to leave seven thousand. Leave seven thousand on the table. Yeah. So At while least. you're while you're doing yours, I'll go, go over. Your, okay. Yeah. So I got uh, Chase Seifert at sixty three. Uh, I got Benny on at 6,900. Scott Stallings at uh, 74. Uh, Vince Whaley at 68. Uh, Old man Stevie Stricker at 77. And rounding us out at uh, 7,800. We got HV3. And I even left $100 on the table. I like those picks. Um, yes. My team is still not finished. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how much I'm going to be able to spend here. Yeah. Um, but I'll and be then, done with it shortly. Yeah, while, while you're going over that, uh, let me just lock this in quick. All right. So for the – I'll just do one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so I'll do one. I really like Harmon and uh, uh, Berger from the expensive. Um, yeah, I do too. Tears, but then for but sure, then we're kind of hamstrung a little bit after that. But we've uh, seen that it doesn't take a lot. You can get away with some cheap guys here. Oh yeah, tour seven eight. There you go. To uh, to get something in, and how much was Cam Davis last week? Like seven k, seventy five hundred. He was cheap. He was cheap last week. He's cheap every week. Yeah, he is. He is pretty cheap every week. Um, let's see. 
just about done with this. All right, I'm done. All right. All Good. right, my leaving 7,000 on the table. I'm going to start the team with Johnny Vegas at 8K. Uh, then have Pat Perez at 77. Ryan Armour at 71. Roger Sloan at 69. JJ Spawn at 66. And Bill Haas at 64. And that leaves 7,300 on the table. Oh, you have more than me. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Yeah. So, leaving That's some crazy. on the table this week. Yeah. Um, I was able to make two other lineups, too. Okay. Um, so, regular lineup um, that I made was playing off of tournament history. This was all focused on tournament history. So I started with Kevin Streelman, plays great here every year, 9,700. Lucas Glover, another one kills his course, 86. Zach Johnson, 85, kills his course. Ryan Moore, who we did not mention, um, just because I'm not the biggest fan. Mm -hmm. he, he plays really well here. He's a notorious short ball hitter. Um, you don't have to hit long at this course at all. Um, Steve Stricker, the old man, and Ryan Armour to round it out. Um, and that's all based off basically course history. So I'm playing that narrative yeah. uh, with that team. So I just uh, just made one for just normal tournament play. Um, and so I loaded up on the top, top of the heap uh, at Danny Berger and Brian Harmon. And then I kind of stole a couple guys from our cheap, cheapo uh, contest. Yep. And we got so Seifert, Stallings, uh, Kadira, and Reavy are my like are my cheapo guys. But I, I like think that. Uh, I think Berger and Harmon uh, carry the Together. team. Together, yeah. And not a lot of people have that that right. combo, right? Because they're going to be scared of the uh, the cheapo guys, and that's that's yeah. where we cut our teeth. Oh yeah. So I made one more. Love the cheaper cuts. And I also have Berger. Followed up with this is a this team is based off I went with scoring guys who could go low, mm -hmm. so Daniel Berger, Aaron Wise at ninety two, Johnny Vegas eight thousand, Kyle Stanley, Chesson Hadley and JJ Spawn. I like that as well. Yeah, so I think we got some good teams this week, uh, for especially for the competition. We both left money on the table and uh, seven thousand <laughs> left money and everything. Yeah, yeah. It'll be you need something like that for this week to make you even watch the John Deere. So right, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, gotta, yeah. you gotta take crazy shots with. Uh, yeah, uh, check my check my cheapo team. And my uh, Google Earth course breakdown will be up uh, shortly. Nice. That will be up. Yeah. All right. Want to uh, reconvene? Do UFC? Sounds good. You want to hop on the other Riverside? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, bud. See you in a minute.